Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you uh, that's been following me and supporting me, as always, salute. And for my favorite patrons, double salute. Now, today's video, we're actually going to be talking about the best secured credit cards that offer cash back rewards. And the reason is, is like, you have these secure cards that char charge all of these fees and stuff like that. So what I did, I actually looked through and found out what credit cards are actually worth having for a secured card to where you can actually leverage it, okay? And so leveraging these here cards, not only do they go from a secured card to an unsecured card, but you actually able to position yourself to get access to more funding as well as the cash back rewards okay so that being said understanding that you may be trying to uh raise money for some type of investing well whether it be uh real estate cryptocurrency or some kind of a uh, car sharing uh, like Toro or something like that but nonetheless I'm uh, help put you in a position to where it's worth your investment now the first uh, card here the uns the secured card is the Navy Federal in rewards MasterCard okay and you can get this in a MasterCard or a Visa but I would tell you to get it in a MasterCard especially if you're planning on like paying your rent or mortgage or something like that okay because a lot of companies they don't accept visa but they accept mastercard all right now here's the thing about it for every uh, dollar you spend they give you one point and so one point equals to about one cent I know it's not a much on the rewards aspect of it uh, the cash rewards aspect of it but here's the thing about it with this here credit card with Navy Federal you can deposit just $200 and making an on-time payments that $200 can turn into $2,000 within six months so that's the reason that I would tell you to leverage it plus they offer business bank accounts so you can get access to more funding as well and because they use internal scoring then you may not have the best credit score but they'll still give you a credit card an unsecured credit card okay and so like say that you may be a 530 and I have made a video that actually explains that where they actually people with 530 580 credit scores that they was giving them $25,000 credit cards okay so if you want to see that video put a comment below but the thing about it is if you're trying to get cash back on a secured card then this is definitely one of those ones that you can leverage now you have the Bank of America customized cash reward secured credit card now they do 3% and 2% cash back on the first 2500 okay now with Bank of America I must tell you they pull your FICO 8 Experian all right so just keep that in mind when trying to get a uh, credit card even a secured card with them and another thing about the Bank of America like they're not as quick to unsecure your um, credit card okay so you can be waiting up to a year before they decide to um, unsecure your credit card or whatever but don't worry about that because I got some uh, remedies to help you to uh, speed up the process now uh, the good thing about it like these cards they don't charge those fees like uh, the activation fees and stuff like that and besides they have a uh, business banking as well again it's all about the relationship so your credit score may not be the best but you may have been banking with them for so long and they see that you have good deposits and stuff and sometimes that uh, supersedes your credit score to where they're willing to take a chance on giving you a credit card even though you may not have the best credit score all right now you have the uh, State Department uh, federal credit union secured credit card okay for every point for every dollar you get a point okay and 
what they do to secure your um your secure your card you have to have a savings account with them and so whatever's in the savings account that's the limit of your secured card okay now here's the interesting thing about it with a 580 credit score uh it has been uh noted that you may still be able to get an unsecured credit card okay so not only are you with a low credit score like a 580 uh, you may be able to get an unsecured credit card, but nonetheless, this is the one that you want to definitely have a relationship with because they work with you and it's much easier once you start building up your credit score to get access to more funding and their turnaround term for unsecuring a card is much faster as well. And they don't charge the annual fee, no foreign transactions, and again, they pull your Experian FICO 8 and it reports to all three credit bureaus. All right. Then you have the Discover It Secured Card. Now, a lot of people like the Discover It Secured Card. And the reason is, is because they do dollar for dollar up to the first year on cashback rewards. All right. So they don't charge any uh, annual fee. And then in reference to giving you your money back and making it a unsecured card it's seven months they will pull your fico 8 experience but the cool part about this is that you can pre-qualify to see if you're able to get a regular credit card but if not then you would want to go with the discover secured card again because it still gives you that cash back okay now here's some things that i would definitely tell you to do and I have a, a strategy for you as well. Now, if you are, if you have subscriptions like Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, Apple Music, then these two companies, I would sign up for these two companies so they can report those trade lines on your credit file. If you're paying car insurance and a gym membership or any of the type of subscription, I would check with these here companies to see if they would report those as positive trade line, especially if you have a low credit score, because this is going to give you that 25 to 100 point boost. Some people have actually seen an increase of over 100 points. So again, just by following this strategy, and again, I have another strategy for you as well. Now you have the... Uh, pledge loans and the credit builder loans that can help boost up your credit score as well and we're going to talk more about that because i'm i want to show you a strategy um authorized users now with the authorized users on the fico 8 they don't count it on the fico 9 they count it okay so in terms of boosting up your credit score especially on the fico 9 so you can get more access to more capital and stuff like that this is definitely that strategy now there's two two uh companies extra debit credit card app it's an app on your phone and then there's one financial both of those companies if you do a lot of debit card transactions and stuff, they'll report that on your credit file as well as a positive trade line. Okay, so you don't want to miss out on that. And then if you're paying rent and it's not being reported by your landlord, you can sign up for BoomPay and Rental Karma. And also Perch, that other company I had mentioned earlier, with Perch, they it reports rent up to six months with boom pay they state that they report up to 24 months now the reason you want that is not only for the positive trade line but also if you're planning on trying to get qualified for a mortgage especially doing a fha loan and stuff like that this is what's going to help you to get qualified for that mortgage all right also your utilities i must add that your utilities also count now the strategy i was talking about is this company here and there's other companies too i'll put the link down below but like some of these companies um they offer you like a 
personal loans, payday loans type of thing, right? And so the minimum score is a 560 credit score. The average is a 638. So that's the reason you probably want to try to add those trade lines first to try to boost up the credit score. But the strategy is being able to get qualified for one of these loans. And the reason is, say that you was just so happen to get the a $5,000 loan, okay? Now, with that $5,000 loan, you can uh, put money on each of those cards and that way it'll actually fund uh, those uh, secured cards for you just off of this here loan. Now, one thing I must tell you guys, don't have too many open revolving accounts okay the reason is is because that can count against you so you may have uh the uh these these credit cards the good thing about it because they don't charge all those activation fees and stuff that's the good part about it but when you're trying to unsecure and go for other unsecured credit cards and stuff it can count against you so the maximum you may want to have is about three now again playing devil advocate this here call this here loan here you all you need is two accounts on the credit file and their dti is 75 percent now if your credit score is low just because you have too too high of a debt to income ratio then this may be the company to help you to get a loan to pay down uh your credit card debt so your credit score can go back up so you can get more funding all right so that's how you want to leverage that now another way you can do it is with the secured sable one credit card so that uh universal credit i just showed you let's just say they gave you ten thousand right so then i would if i if i was trying to build my credit and to be able to get more unsecured lines fast as possible then this would be one of the cards I would use. So that $10,000 loan that I was approved for, I would probably take half of that and put it on this here secured card. The reason is, is because with this here secured card, you can actually um, get it unsecured within four months. So that means your $5,000 goes back to you, plus you got a $5,000 credit card, okay? So that's the reason you want to try to uh, leverage this type of strategy to help you build up your credit much faster. Not only leveraging the secured card itself, but to actually be able to transition much faster over to getting unsecured funding. All right. Now, if you have bad credit, but you have good deposits and stuff, this company here, Credit AI, they would actually give you a $1,500 primary trade line on your credit. So, and they're, they're, uh, they don't do a hard pull on your credit as well. So if you are still trying to add trade lines to boost up the credit score and stuff like that, this is definitely one of those cards that you want to actually take advantage of. All right. So if you have any questions or concerns about trying to help improve your credit score or boost up your credit score, then click the link below in the description and check out three-way funding. Thank you.